Okay, in this video, we're going to see how we can reset and reformat an iPod Classic uh, to work with Windows and iTunes so it can sync properly. So you might have to do this if you have an iPod that was synced on a Macintosh computer, then it has to be reformatted before it could be used on Windows. Or if you were syncing and for some reason it wasn't ejected properly or there was a kink in the cable, it came loose, anything like that, and a lost connection, then the files got corrupted and then you get an error, something like a 1439 or something like that. And in that case, it would have to be reformatted and restored uh, to a fresh start. And that way iTunes uh, can see it properly in, I in uh, Windows. So to do that, I'll take our cord, USB side, A, plug that into the computer, and then the 32 pin side, and this one, this was formatted on a Mac. So when we plug it in, notice what happens. It should pop up and say that it'll need to be reformatted. There we go. So iTunes says, is detected a Macintosh formatted iPod. You must restore this iPod before you can use it on Windows. Now you can try to do it through iTunes, but I found it works better if you go first, go down to File Manager. Let's just move iTunes out of the way. And there we have the message from File Manager. It says you need to format the disk in Drive E before you can use it. Now on my computer it says Drive E. Your computer it may say something different uh, just because it's the next available drive. Uh, that's the letter that it assigns. So it's already highlighted for us. It says Format Disk. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll notice the box over here. This is the Format USB Drive. Just leave all the settings as is. That's exactly what you want. Quick format. Uh, you say start. And then it just gives you a warning. You say okay. And as we'll see, it's very quick. And then we'll say okay. It's been completed. And we can just close this window out. So now it's been formatted for Windows. So now when we go back to iTunes, then we'll do a restore. And that'll get a fresh copy of the operating system on there. So we hit restore, we get the uh, verification, say yes, restore, and then we'll see progress bar, and on the iPod you'll notice too, restoring iPod, synchronizing, and then this is obviously where you don't want it disconnected. So now it's going to reboot, it takes about 10 seconds, goes through the first Apple screen. And then it reboots again, and now this is the second Apple screen. And then once it starts, the computer will see it, and then it'll show up in iTunes, and it'll be all ready to sync music. And we'll show that. Okay, there it is. Now it's going to see it's connected. And then if we look at the computer, it'll take just a few moments, and it should pop up over here. There's the computer saying, an iPod's been connected on E. Now it's synchronizing. And there's our screen. Welcome to your new iPod. So we just hit continue, get started, and then we can go to our music, and then we tick the box that says sync music. We can do our entire library. In this case, I'll just do one band. If you wanted everything, you would hit entire uh, music library. You can select albums, playlists, whatever you have. You hit apply. And sync. And since there's only a few songs, it goes very quick. <laughs> and there you see this is syncing. 
And then if you see up on the screen on iTunes, it says iPod sync is complete. Eject before disconnecting. And that's always very important because if we disconnect it now, then it might get corrupted. And then we have to do this process over again where you need to reformat it. So we'll just go over here. We hit eject. And then on the, on the iPod, it'll say OK to disconnect. So when the progress bar goes all the way across, we'll disconnect it. And there we go. Now it's working fine on Windows. So we'll select English. And there's our music. Just one album and one song. But there, that's how we do it. And this will fix all those problems.